Good Friday evening, everybody, from the House Onik backyard. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik with the latest edition of News Channel 3's video astronomy blog called Skyblog 3. If you'd like to know a little bit more about what to look for in tonight's skies, it's going to be a great night for stargazing with some very nice clear blue skies up above, looking very nice across much of the Mid-South throughout the course of the rest of the evening. We'll talk about a special event coming up as we get into the evening hours, hopefully not too much in the way of yard work waiting for you. A meteor shower coming up tonight and into tomorrow and also looking pretty good into the weekend for some good stargazing out there before our next storm system moves in as we get into next week around Election Day. We'll talk about that in just a little while. Tonight, not that much to be seen. The Chinese space station might be visible. The second one, Tiangong 2, that's going to be passing overhead later on tonight past sunset. If you'd like to see more about that, check out my Facebook and Twitter pages. We'll be posting more about that in just a little while to find out more about that. Now, tomorrow Tomorrow morning, that's where it gets really interesting. The space plane, the secret X-37B space plane, will be passing overhead just before sunrise, and that'll be at about 5.39 in the morning briefly visible there. The really bright one will be the International Space Station. That'll be coming up at about five minutes until six tomorrow morning. That'll be seen into the northern skies just around the North Star and then passing on over to the northeastern horizon before sinking on down. That'll be about five minutes before six o'clock tomorrow. Hopefully some decently clear conditions out across much of the Mid-South to be able to see that, but that'll be the brighter of the two. The space plane will be just barely visible, so you will be able to see it if you're looking for it carefully enough. International Space Station will be a little bit more easily visible there. Torrid meteor shower peaks tonight and into tomorrow, so if you'd like to take a look up and see if you can see any meteors, this would be a great night to do it. Look toward the constellation of Taurus the Bull that rises just before Orion the Hunter, the one with the three stars in the belt, very easily able to be defined there and that'll be happening tonight. If you'd like to know more, follow the SLU S L O O H Space Telescope. They'll be talking about that coming up tonight on Twitter and into overnight to help you find more meteors out there. If you'd like to know more about weather sites to help you view astronomy and get a little bit clearer skies or know a little bit more about where and how to plan your star party, like a people at the Memphis Astronomical Society do. All you have to do is drop by Christian Brothers University that's on Central Avenue in Central Memphis. If you'd like to know more about that, it's available at Memphis Astro. Rebecca Love will be giving a presentation as well. That'll be tonight on light pollution and why it's important to have dark skies to be able to see uh, sites in available to the Mid-South area that aren't quite visible that much because of all the light pollution from Memphis and the surrounding environs. And that'll be taking place tonight at a CC Hall on the Christian Brothers University campus. Again, that's on Central Avenue. More information available at memphisastro.org if you'd like to know more about that. And I'll be the featured speaker again on weather websites that you may not have known before. And that'll be taking place again this evening at about 8 o'clock. So good opportunity to see more when it comes to anything involving opportunities for anything involving the sky watching out there. Sometimes can get ruined by not having good skies and this will be an opportunity for you to use new and interesting websites that you may not have heard about so that you can see a little bit more about what goes on out there in the area. More information throughout the weekend available at WREG.com slash weather and also available posting on my Facebook page as well if you'd like to see more about that. Twitter, Instagram, Google Plus and also on YouTube as well. We'll keep you updated. Also on my Tumblr account. We'll be posting that as well to see more information there. And again, don't forget about the Memphis Astronomical Society's monthly meeting this evening at 8 o'clock on the Christian Brothers campus. Good opportunity to learn more about astronomy from local people who have the opportunity to get out with their telescopes and see a little bit more out there. Also, stay tuned for this weekend because another astronomical viewing opportunity will be coming up. That will be on Sunday night in Oxford at Ole Miss at the Kennan Observatory. If you'd like to know more about that, again, drop by my web pages and we'll have more information there. From the backyard, I'm meteorologist Austin Onick with the latest update of what's going on up in the skies. Astronomy for you, science out there. Remember always to keep looking up and stay tuned to News Channel 3 throughout the weekend for updates on both astronomy and your complete forecast.